Hello, Bumpy Mixquickums here, and it's time for a little bit more of The Last Federation. We're getting pretty close to the end of this whole LP, which is great because I'm finally feeling like I'm getting a better, broader, more not terrible understanding of the game. We have several people in our Federation. It looks like we have four. And the Skylaxians even took over one of our enemy forces, which is fantastic. The Burlesks are kind of... which is fine. Um... Looks like the Evics still hate them, so maybe we'll annihilate them afterward. But right now we're going to go and annihilate the few armadas that are lingering. So we get to do that. And it will be sweet, sweet, nice. It should be simple and easy. Six flagships remain. No big deal. In fact, I think what I want to do is run it down this way. And we're going to go with the shield blaster. And we're going to focus on this. And we're going to continue to... Oh! We're actually stuck, that's unfortunate. Alright, well let's do this then. And... There we go, we just annihilated three of them in one shot, which is well, well worth the, uh, the effort. Let's see here. No, is it shift? It is shift, okay. I always forget that one, ladies and gentlemen. I always forget it. We're going to rescue all the pilots that we can. In fact, we're going to do this. You'll have to forgive my uh, ineptitude here. There we go. And... We said good day, sir. Well, we got a decent chunk of them. Let's see what's left of him. He wants us to kill him with the minigun, so we shall do that for him. And then this guy says, I want the shields to kill me! The shield shooter, so we will shoot the shield with him. He will go down and be very, very sad, and unfortunately, there's not much else we can do for him. Is he a gravity lance type guy? Nope, he is an energy blaster type guy, so we will continue to blast energy at him. He will die a horrible, horrible, meaningful death. I say meaningful. He may disagree. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, he is the Gravity Lance guy. Alright. So let's Gravity Lance him down. Let's see if we can get everything even. There we go. That's kind of what we wanted. Okay. Almost done. Let's do this. We are kind of getting hammered by all the nastiness going on, but we're going to do this to negate a lot of the crap flying at us, and then we should be able to burn this guy down all the way to the very end. I believe he is a energy blaster guy, and the victory should be ours. There it is. So we managed to get 7,400 monies, which is a lot of cash. Well, you know how it goes in the grand scheme of things. Spread hate. Hmm, we should probably deal with the burlesque pretty soon. Um, why don't we do that? Why don't we get the... Hmm, I'm kind of torn. I want... Let's see, how to do this. I don't want them to do that. I'd rather the burlesque join us, but I don't think they're going to. We don't have the... the love and the respect and the fear... fearedness? I don't, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, for them to join. So we're going to have to murder them, too. But at the same time, it looks like the Acutians are actually attacking the Thraxians, so I'd kind of rather the folks actually do some stuff here. Um, ooh, we can search it. Okay, we'll do that. Because we're greedy and we like things of our own. Alright. So we're just going to randomly shoot at these guys. They want minigun action, so we shall get to them. Shall give them some hot minigun action, and there we go. And it's going to be tremendously amazing and amazingly epic and epically amazing. I don't know. You've seen this countless times, folks. It is what it is. We're going to annihilate anyone and everyone that we can. Ooh, we just took a tremendously huge amount of damage. That was unfortunate. Very unpleasant. We seem to have murdered one guy, that's a good sign, but I assume we're not out of the woods yet. We actually took quite a bit of damage in that whole mess. So we're going to do this. We're going to continue to 
launch. What are these things? Helpian missile things of hate. Let's go to them. They seem to be scouring the sky with much, much hatred and pain for me, so if I can remove that that painful agony of missile attitude, I, I got nothing, folks. I have absolutely nothing. The minigun still should annihilate them, which is sweet, sweet, nice. Fly right through the big group of folks. And we're going to continue to hopefully dodge a lot of this mess. And I think we'll be okay if we do. We're getting a lot of healthy things that we can, of course, return for more love. Because, you know, we got to make sure our people always love us while we're part of the Federation. Well, if they don't, bad Juju Magumbo could happen, and we want to try to avoid bad Juju Magumbo when and where we can. We are nearly done with the remaining fellows in the defense of these three wonderful hydro technology labs. And there we are. And there's nothing to shoot, so we will shoot at nothing. I know, seems pretty silly. Alright, we'll just queue through this, and... We said good day, sir. Oh wait, it's going to take five turns, I'm sorry, I thought it took three, I don't know why. Brain not working. Yes. Alright, so what did we end up getting? We ended up getting the mask driver and the transfer shielding. And we rescued 18 Peltian pilots, which is pretty darn sweet. So let's take a look at our ship. Customize our flagship. Um, the nuke. What did we get for that? Doesn't look like there's anything. What about here? The mask driver hurls concussive ordnance that does excellent damage and also blocks incoming shots. However, it does only 10% of its normal damage when impacting shields. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't think it's as strong as our minigun, though. I'm not entirely sure. Eh, we'll leave it the way we have it. Um, something about shields. Let's see, what do we have? It was transfer shielding. Hmm. Really? What, wait, wait, what is that? See what that does? Can only be used when your shields are at full, and when you have at least 25% hull health. Your shields drop to zero and your hull takes 20% damage, but all of our other ships and all of our ships that considered us allies. Now that sounds like a terrible, terrible choice. Absolutely not. We'll do cloaking field. I think we're just going to stay the way we were. Alright, so. That means at this point we are going to try and get these folks to murder someone. Um, let's see here. Attack another race, and we want them to attack the Thoraxians. Execute the deal. So the Evics are planning to attack the Thoraxians. Everybody loves me so much that it's not that big of an issue, and I don't care about the resentment. As long as you guys do your job and you attack them, I will be super thrilled with you, and I'm going to go over here and deal with the final remaining armadas of our nemesis, the Thoraxians, who originally dealt with our first nemesis. This is his, our nemesis. So, you can't have nothing but hatred for the Thoraxians. They have served their purpose. And there is always something to be said about those who serve your, your purpose and their purpose for you. Most of those you can't repeat in front of nuns or men of cloth or, yeah, men of cloth or nuns. Alright, so let's go here. Pretty sure the Thoraxians are a little girl scared of us by now. Can't say I blame them, but yeah. All right, looks like we are about to lose all of our shields. Let's turn that back up. Let's throw out our double armadas or our double fighter waves. Let's get a little closer to the action. And see what's actually going down here. Let's see if we can burn through him and his shield. That looks like indeed we can. All right, sweet, sweet. Nice. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I just heard back from the folks at In Exile Entertainment, and I will be able to cover Wasteland 2 for all of you who are interested, so pretty excited by that. I think I would like to make that a daily episode as well, so perhaps that will replace XCOM Long War once uh, that runs its course. I may do a first look at it, because it's still in early access, kind of like a beta state. 
and they told me specifically that the saves will not carry through, so if I were to attempt to play it now, it probably wouldn't end well for me, generally speaking. Because, well, you can't do an LP without being able to save the game, right? So, it's kind of kind of the position we're in right now. And what is he, a Gravity Lance finisher? Yeah, he is. And all we have to do is survive a little bit more, and there it is. There's a lot of stuff that they spawned out there to kill us, but in the end it really didn't make any difference. Alright. And another 7200, and more and more people love us. And there is Pandemonium for the Thoraxians, which is pretty darn cool. Alright, at this point, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I can get the Peltians to do something. Let's see here. The Peltian Conclave. We'll go with the military deals. Attack another race. We have enough voting proxies. Let's have them also attack the Thoraxians. And then if we can work it, we will. Alright, and I suppose at this point... I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'll come over and get rid of these. And maybe I will help clean out some... No. Let's... Yeah, we can give some technology. That's interesting. I didn't think I could gift anything to the Thorax, uh, the Skylaxians. It's pretty sweet. Alright. And let's see. Can we convince them to trade tech with another race? Alright, the Acutians. There we go. And what else? Who else could use it? The Peltians could use it? Alright. Maybe we'll try to bribe the Burlusts into obeying us. Because they are really, really far behind on tech. I know that because they are the weakest link right now on the entire thing. The Bahrains were actually just slightly weaker than they were. And they got annihilated pretty darn fast. So if we can get the Burlusts and the Skylaxians to kind of buddy up, I think it'll work out pretty good. Alright, that's that, huh? Alright, so at this point, what I think I'm going to do with the remainder of my money, since that actually spent a lot... Oh, wow. I did so much stuff right there that time is passing at a rapid rate. Red rash outbreak. But it's lagged the game. Crimes. That's kind of funny. Good. So, disease appears, the Thoraxians, eh, don't care about the Thoraxians, Piratical Exodus, sorry guys, I was kind of looking over here when I was looking at something else, there's a thing to do, Thoraxian scientist wants to take a closer look, absolutely not, sorry buddy, and look at all that tech gifted, because that's how we roll, alright, let's take a look at this quest here, what are we going to get from I hope that the finishing touch on uh, that they'll probably also share with us. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. You are an enemy of us, so deal with it, buddy. Deal with it. Let's see. Can we... Can we do something here? Um, what was it? The Skylaxian Senate Federation deals. Can we get uh, convince another race to join the Federation? The Burlusts are not there yet because... What do we need? Um... Guardian Federation, we're all in this together. The us don't get the job done. Somebody else is going to come around. Success or fail. Why can't we do this? They're currently selected. Why, why are they not... Huh. I assume that they would, but I guess it's because they're already in... Perhaps they're already in the uh, thing. Let's go talk to the the Burlust here and talk to the Warlords and have them join the Federation, but I don't have 5,000 leverage. We could desolate their econ or decimate their econ economy, but... It doesn't look like we can... Well, we'll just have to murder them, I guess. I mean, there's no other way around it. We're going to go do some more combat with... Uh, the Thraxians, they are pumping out troops like crazy. So let's see if we can um, if we can actually get in here and uh, do some work. Alright, a nuke, and that was pretty darn sweet. 
And I suppose we'll attack this? I don't know. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm about to blow up. This is not good. We need to cloak. Well, I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake there. That was, uh, not good. I dove in a little too hard for that nuke. And that cost me quite a bit. Alright. Let's see. How are we going to tolerate or, or handle this? Let's see. Let's just deal with this. Let's attack anything and everything that comes our way. Slowly but surely we'll whittle away at them. That may be our best course of action. It may be a terrible course of action. I don't really know. I'm just assuming. And we need to do something that's not going to get us all massacred here. Alright, well, we seem to be outpacing these guys decently. Not super well, but decently enough. We have very, very low hit points right now, though. And that's kind of the biggest issue that I'm running into, but... Eh, I suppose we're, we're making it work. Oh, there's still eight flagships remaining. How am I going to deal with all this? They are going to flut the airways with uh, many, many, many vessels that want me dead. And I'm, I'm still okay with that. I'm actually not too, too sad about that. I think we should probably do this, and then maybe go on auto fire and just start annihilating this stuff. I think it might be a wise course. I could be completely wrong, though. Just have to keep avoiding more extra damage. Oh, nope, there we go. We just got hit by extra damage. That's sad. So we're going to be out of combat for a while. That was way too nasty to walk in there like I just did. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, next time I decide to... God, they've got us pinned. Uh-oh. We'll have to fight our way out. There's no way to retreat. All right, whatever. Uh, next time I decide to do this, so they have assassins again. I think I will play it on uh, permadeath, so if I lose a battle, I'll lose it permanently. Uh, it'll be a while before I, I play this game again, just so you guys know. Don't expect to see me playing it immediately right after, or for quite a while, but it might be something I do down the road. Like I said, I really like the Arkham games. I think they've done a fantastic job with just about every game they put out. Though the difficulty level does seem to spike rapidly, and, well, the games are really, really challenging. But all that the same. But why am I not actually hitting anything here? I'm kind of... I don't know. Looks like the minigun's the weapon of choice there. Alright, uh, let's do it here. Do it minigun style. Alright, and then we have the shielding here. Alright, focus them down. The shields are coming down much nicer than they were before. Oh, wow, I didn't think I'd actually kill it straight out with that. That's pretty sick. Right. Try to annihilate these guys. Are they minigunners? They are. And we'll continue to shoot our minigun. And slaughter anything that comes our way. Alright. And there we go. And we're going to shoot at this guy. I'm going to loop around and stay on him for quite a little while here, I think. I think the 1.7x speed is just fine for what we're doing. I'm going to launch that, see if I can take out a few more of these. And his shield is about half, that's unfortunate. I was hoping it would actually go a little lower. And our entire vessel grouping of things. Squadron? Our whole entire squadron that we launched completely decimated immediately there. It was quite sad, I'm not going to lie. But we're through a shield in the next two turns. And that will be super, super nice. In fact, we're through a shield now, and now it's minigun time. And I am just going to unload on him as much as I humanly possibly could. It's actually energy blaster again. Not minigun, that's interesting. Oh! I guess we withdrew? Oh, we're gonna, we got killed. I didn't, wasn't watching my health. I thought we were just wrecking them, so. We're out for quite a while. We boosted scientific research. Just stuff happening. All sorts of things are going. Ooh, 
bioterrorist plot, all sorts of stuff is happening. Alright, more stuff, and we are out for like two years here, and we're recovering. There we go. Oh, that was rough. So we're just going to close all this stuff up, and we're going to take a look at this. We're going to reject the quest because we, we don't like the Thoraxians. And here, a bioterrorist plot, Brother Zappo, blah blah blah, mass biological plot, okay, if one. We'll get more and more. The Peltians will like us a bit less. Hmm. If loss ignored or other contract taken, oh, a lot of people will die. All right, well, I think we need to keep them alive. So apparently, I have to destroy a, ten a detention facilities. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Definitely not my best showing in the last uh, couple of missions. Here, but I apologize for that. Me being bad, I can't help it. All right. Launch our little squads of things and see if we can shoot all this stuff down. It does look like we're able to. I like that a whole heck of a lot. And we're going to try and take this guy out. There's no way to be sure that it'll work, but we are going to attempt it. You know what? We're going to nuke. There we go. So I don't know what we just nuked. It kind of makes me sad. It looks like the gravity lance is going to be our number one deal on this. Unfortunately, we're still trying to... Ooh, Gravity Lance on him as well. Nice. I get the shield over here on this guy. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Looks like I might have to start killing my way through everything, so what I'm going to do is switch it back to auto-fire. We're going to run around with our minigun for a while and just shoot everything in our way. Oops, and we clicked off of the map. Awkward. Minimize the game on all of you. It's fine. So I believe after we finish this particular little dealy here, we will uh, I'll break off the episode. We'll continue in the next one. I, I imagine there's only gonna be two to three more episodes. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to actually kill the Thoraxians. And then eventually the Burlusks. It seems like they should have already taken care of this by now, but they haven't yet. And apparently there's a phone call. And somebody turned the ringer on on our phone, which I always have off. So that is unfortunate, and I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But it is what it is, and there's not much we can do about it, so... so we'll continue to fly around and shoot things. I'm wondering if something is spawning guys. I'm kind of thinking that maybe... Uh oh Maybe that is the case. Alright, so let's see here. Let's uh, switch it up to this. Let's focus fire some stuff down because we really haven't managed to accomplish a whole heck of a lot, unfortunately. Alright, well, it looks like stuff is starting to happen again. And unfortunately, we are just getting pummeled, so the later missions are starting to get a lot more challenging. I gotta admit, I'm mildly impressed. I thought we were pretty much unkillable for this most recent little dealy, so it is quite uh, off-putting to be actually kind of on the back foot just a little bit. I mean, we're not hugely on the back foot, don't get me wrong. What is this? A cloaking device? Cloaking field? Alright. Like I said, we're, we're okay. We are okay. Go fly around, try to get rid of some of these spiders. There's so many of them. <laughs> There's a lot. There really is a lot. Look at them all. There's like billions and billions of fighters here. Uh oh. Grab a cloak there and back into things. Hopefully, fairly soon, we get out of this situation. It is pretty nasty, like I said. We're slowly getting there, though, I feel. Alright. Keep it coming. Keep it going. Wow, so many. Look at all these little fighters. I don't even know if we're killing most of them. It looks like we're killing a ton, but they're just still there. What is this? The stunner. Alright. I think we're going to do this. I 
what is he weak against? It's like the energy blaster still. Alright, well we're gonna start moving our way back toward him, I suppose. Now we're gonna focus fire with this. How close is he now? He is a minigun fodder, alright. Okay, we'll do the cloaking device. And hopefully we can annihilate him and all these ships can stop flying out and trying to murder us. Whew! I'm telling you guys, this is uh, some crazy stuff here. So many. It's amazing how many of them. Holy cow, we can't even sort of start wearing out the thing that we need to actually kill until these things are handled. This is a little insane, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to start focus firing some more stuff down because this is not working at all. So if I can get rid of some of these things, we'll be in a little bit of a better situation. I'm still not going to say that we're going to be in a great situation, but a little bit better is better than a terrible situation, which is exactly what we're in right now. These things are minigun food. Alright. And... Cloaking device is activated. Try to burn through his shield as quickly as possible. He has a lot of shield. Give him that. Oh, they seem very unhappy that I'm there. Alright, well, let's use our cloaking field again. And if we're lucky, what's left with him? Yeah, the shield. I still got shield, my goodness. So many things, I don't think I can do this. This is ridiculous. I mean, just look. Get around, folks. There's billions upon billions of ships here, and we're not really weeding through them at all. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if we can speed up the combat a little bit, because this could take forever if we don't. And it still might take forever if we do. Alright. We're really, really starting to get hurt here. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Alright, let's use our cloak again. Oh, whew! Yeah, we're gonna have to kill these like emergency response hangers and stuff like that, because if we don't, we're not gonna get anywhere at all. through some of this stuff. Let's see, what is this thing? This is a minigun special here. I don't know what it does, but we are definitely... We're definitely in dire straits, so to speak. Uh-oh. Cloak! Holy cow. What is that? That is a missile shield thing, huh? Alright. So we'll burn through that. What is this thing? Another one of the missile shields. So we get through a few hundred more things. Emergency response hangar. Alright. We're going to 
cloak ourselves again. And then we're going to use these. And I apologize, guys. This is going to be one of the more nasty combat missions that we're going to have to deal with. Alright. So let's just have a free-for-all shootout here. And then we're going to have to deal with that relatively soon as well. Alright, let's focus fire that one down. Should be pretty easy to kill. Alright, burn for him. Still quite a bit going on. What is that thing, huh? It's a Mega Lance. We are having nothing but issues here. Alright, let's uh, do the free for all stuff once again. Fly through. Go out of stunner. Hopefully, we shoot down some things that are actually trying to kill us here. We'll use that. We will switch over to actual focus fire. And we'll try to try to take these things out. Stupid giant fortress things that are just making our life miserable. It's okay though. We're slowly getting through. What does this do? This is transfer shielding. You can only be using your shields are full. Hmm. I don't know that I have 25% hull integrity, to be honest. See what are we looking at here? He's got a lot of shield left. Now what is it? It's a mini gun to finish him off, really? Seems a little silly, but okay. Absorb it with your shields. Nope. Is it really the mini gun? It really is a mini gun, I guess. All right. Thankfully, he doesn't have that much health to begin with. So, all right. Start laying into them, folks. Longest battle in the history of mankind, guys. This is going to be an epic mission. Hopefully I manage to kill off everything that's trying to murder me. There's no way to be guaranteed or sure here. There's just a lot of bad juju Gumba coming after us. And we're just trying to get along. Oh, this looks nasty. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a scatter shot. Don't care about that. Ooh, emergency response hangar. We need to deal with that immediately. That is definitely one of the things that we have to focus fire on. So let's switch over to that. And energy blaster for that. And I'm actually focused on the wrong thing. It's actually the minigun I need to use for this thing here. Okay, so that's dead. That's a good sign. What is this? Emergency shield repairs. Gonna use the pinhole. Okay, it's not great. Got the afterburners again. Well, we can try this. Burn that thing down. And then maybe go after him. What are these things? These things are energy blaster. Food, okay. And we'll try to annihilate everything that's stationary. We are taking a tremendous amount of damage, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, doesn't look like we're going to actually be able to do anything here. Got the retreat out. My gosh, look look on the mini map. It's just a swarm of things coming to kill me. I don't even know how to deal with this. All right, let's let's try this. There's so many. There's just so many. My mini gun can't kill all of these things. I don't even know if I'm killing them or not. It feels like I'm missing a lot. I suppose I am killing a few.
good. Just keep going, guys. What's going on? There we go. There's so many. Alright, let's get our gravity lance up on him. Let's see, is he out of shield? He is. Can we get our minigun over to him? I bet we can. Maybe just. Oh gosh, we have no health left. Okay. Killed another group. <sighs> There's so much bad stuff happening. <laughs> Just look at all the stuff. It's craziness. Alright. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this. Kill them all. Kill them in a fire. We have so little bit of health, it's not fair. Well, we're still alive so far. <laughs> you guys never thought it would be this uh this much craziness on one of these silly missions. I know I certainly didn't think so. Now we're gonna try to actually do a little bit of pick away damage at this thing. Alright, we're gonna switch back to this, switch back over here. What is that? Please tell me that's not. Oh no, it's another emergency response hanger. Dang it! Alright. Now we need to focus fire on that. Hoping that we can actually kill the thing off. Come on. Alright, we managed to do it. But at what weird twisty cost? Uh, well, if you look on the mini map, it is much less menacing than it was a little bit ago, so that's something. I will say it's still pretty nasty. Oh, it looks like Splooch has uh, changed his icon a little bit. That's nice. Splooch is obsessed right now with uh, the free-to-play game Defiance, and that's kind of been what he's been doing a lot of lately. When he's on his own time, he's not doing stuff for me. It's a fun game. It was it was really buggy for a little while though, so it kind of ruined the game for me. When it was so laggy, it was more or less unplayable. I was just like, meh. Alright. So we're gonna burn through him. We're doing this with absolutely no health, no hull integrity whatsoever. But we're trying our very darndest to actually get through this. This may be an epic battle for the ages. I don't know. I don't claim to know. The only thing I do know is I really hope we survive this and we win. We're getting pretty darn close. There's not that much left in the way of ships out in this place, so that's something that's pretty sweet. Pick off the remaining few, so... Definitely a war of attrition. That much is certain, but still. We are not out of the woods yet, folks. One tiny slip-up can cost us, because we are that weak right now. We are literally one mistake away from death. Oh, and I think I may have just made it. Oh, I dodged it. I'm a hero. Alright. Let's get to get through their shield. Do that. Thing. This one. 
And then finish him off. And it looks like maybe, just maybe, I might actually have done it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it looks like I have finally succeeded. Where all hope was lost, I managed to find a way. Watch this thing will explode and do whole damage to me and kill me. Flying around, killing stuff. That's the name of the game, folks. Well, the Peltians won't be super thrilled with how I had to deal with this, but, you know, at the same time, considering six million of them are not going to be dead, I think that, well, in the long run, it's, it's for the greater good. This could take a while. Oh, I couldn't save them. Alright, we'll just sit here like this. Eventually, we will burn through all of their their misgivings. And you guys thought I was going to die. Look at all that health I have up there, ladies and gentlemen. It actually says I have a lot of health. Wow, I actually have 500,000 shield. That's actually way more than I thought I had. And I was over here complaining about the enemies having a lot of shields. Apparently, I have a massive quantity of shield as well. Certainly didn't seem like it, but victory! Alright folks, I guess that means that I am done with this episode. It went a little long, the next episode will probably go a little short, and hopefully it'll all work out, we will see, but I'd say within the next two episodes we should actually be done. We should be done with this particular thing. So what we're going to do is just reject the quest because I don't care, and... That's going to do it for this episode, so I'll see you guys next time with more of The Last Federation. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>